All right, my friends, welcome back to my survival difficulty walkthrough for The Evil Within 2. So in the previous segment, we finally defeated Stefano. And of course, now we're going to have to deal with a new enemy right away. We go from one boss to the other, really. But we're on Lily's trail and apparently Sebastian's wife is around as well in a rather this place? absurd outfit, if I do say so myself. But anyway, for now, we're just going to go down the creepy dungeons and hopefully find a way out. Yeah, get used to that happening a lot, Sebastian, because people can just get into your head very easily. Now, can't they? Anyway, let's pick up these shotgun shells, and there's some more supplies over here for us. For the most part, this chapter isn't difficult. Uh, we'll have some enemy encounters, and we need to be kind of sneaky at certain points. But aside from that, it's really not that bad. Wait for the flames to go down, and now let's go through here. You know whenever there's a pool of blood that it's a good sign. And you won't catch me by surprise, my friend. We're going to collect quite a few harpoon bolts during this chapter, so don't be afraid to use them during this segment. Because you will be able to regain them later on. And now let's go back through this door. And let's enter this lovely room. Everyone was having lots of fun, it seems. Oh, shit. Looks like they were burned alive. Torture devices. This place is almost medieval. You know, Sebastian, not everything about medieval times was, you know, related to torture. I mean, okay, a good part of it was, but they also did other things. Like, fight with swords and stuff like that. Oh, totally forgot about this guy. I forgot he would get up. Well, not in the best position because I'm ducked, but I didn't want to get up. Oh, he's still alive. Well, not anymore. And that's why the stomp skill is so useful. Uh, from my position, it was kind of hard to aim at his head in time. I thought he might get too close to me, but it's okay because we'll regain the handgun bullets anyway. Uh, let's just go down through here now. And now this is the part where we're going to be sneaky and we're going to play around with the fact that the enemies are kind of stupid. So we can kind of exploit that stupidity, and that's what we're going to do. Okay, first see those two guys over there. They're not really dead. Okay, and now how about you get up as well? Yeah, that's right. I'm talking to you. Come after me. I'm right over here. And now, where did he go? Why, gee, mister, that sure is a swell magic trick. I swear the, um, the lost, well, poor things. I mean, you can't really... <laughs> I can't really judge them all that much because they're like, you know, monsters and aside from growling, it's not like they can do a whole lot, but you'd think that they would maybe be able to realize at least that probably if Sebastian suddenly disappeared behind a wall, chances are he will be behind that wall. He didn't just disappear into thin air, but you know, 
it's it's actually good for us that we can exploit these things and use them to our advantage otherwise the game would be much harder okay let's go through here now and as you can see there's a couple harpoon bolts that you can collect over there so make sure you get them and now let's get this handle so use this Unfortunately, that releases a bunch of enemies, but again, we're going to use the same strategy to kind of pick them off one by one. Oh, yoo-hoo! Guys, I'm over here. Now they're going to come and explore, and we're going to hide right over here and wait, because we don't want to be spotted. Where did he go, Fred? I don't know, Dad. Tell me. It's actually a good thing that Fred went away before Ted because that way we'll be able to get rid of them a little bit more easily. So wait for him to turn around. And he's done. And now we need to take care of the other one. Hello! Right over here. Playing hide and seek with these guys is something else. Wait for him to turn around and now let's go ahead and get rid of him. It's a rather violent game of hide and seek but you get the point. Anyway now let's go through there and let's use an harpoon bolt to get rid of that guy. There we go. Now let's see if we can get that other guy to come and investigate and then we can get rid of him, hopefully. Right over here, sir. Yep. You're seeing straight. It's Sebastian. Come and get him. Why, if a minion kills Sebastian, he might be promoted to like a mini boss or something. Who knows? Okay. Thank you very much for participating and you're done for as well. But there's plenty more left. And there's nothing else here. Now let's go over here. Hide here and let's get rid of this guy as well. Let's take care of him. And there's a few more. It's amazing how the guts just kind of disappear. I actually should have been a bit more careful here. Oh, damn. I thought this guy would only move uh, after we picked up the parts. Well, time to improvise, I guess, because now his friend is going to come and investigate as well. Oh boy. This might be troublesome. And I think there's two of them now. Yep, his friend came as well. Ah, well. I don't know that we'll be able to sneak our way through this one. Yep. Oh well, I don't have time for this. Okay. Storm! And let's try and see if a bottle works here. Bottles sometimes don't work, by the way, so you need to be careful. But yeah, it worked this time. That's what you get. You know, I wanted to give you guys an easy and simple death. But you just had to try and... Attack me. Anyway, let's get that key right over here. 
there's another key for us to pick up in a little bit and that guy will also wake up if we get too close so not this time we're not going to let him there we go and we're not going to place the lever quite yet because we need to get a file and a pouch so let's go through here uh, this door will only open once that lost breaks the door down but be careful because there's a I don't know if he's praying or what he's doing but he's doing something anyway here's the file make sure you pick it up and some more bullets they never hurt and here's the crossbow pouch upgrade that we wanted actually I wonder if I could break through that door probably but oh well we'll take the long route because why not anyway let's get out of here just need to turn the wheel One thing that always amazes me, I mean, I guess with Evil Within it's okay because it deals with the supernatural and just, you know, you're kind of inside a program where people can do whatever they want, but it's kind of crazy to think that someone actually turned on all of those candles and the lights and so on, and I can't imagine that it's the, the lost who are doing this. Anyway, see this guy? He's waiting to sneak up on you. They like to play dead sometimes, as you know, but we, we've learned not to trust them at this point. And let's get the memory here. Hello? Can anybody hear me? Oh. Wait. No. Still here. It, it wasn't all a dream. Hello? Can anybody hear me? Please, I know you're out there. Just do whatever you want. Just please. Let me out. Seems all these people were actually convinced that Union was their home, so I guess they were being essentially brainwashed that way because it's not the first time that we hear someone saying that they just want to you know that Union was their home or that they were born in Union and stuff like that. So no wonder that you know people lose their memories, I guess, if they stay here for too long. Even that woman that we rescued such a long time ago I think he was in during part 3 or part 4 I don't even remember anymore but she couldn't remember her name so I guess when people entered uh, the stem system they were essentially given almost uh, just a new life and they forgot their old lives or something I guess I can't take any more, but that's okay. We'll be fine. Now let's go through here. You must go deep to find what you see. Only by descending can you rise again. You 
Because of you. You couldn't save her. You hold the key to ease your torment. I can guide you to the lock. Who are you? What do you want with me? You cannot change your past. You can only embrace it. Okay, let's do this guys, so this is a new type of enemy, uh, they're quite resilient and during this segment I guess we could potentially try and hide and if they turn off their flames you can actually uh, get rid of them with a sneak kill, otherwise you'll be burned, but they are a bit uh, more powerful than your standard. Yeah, I guess there's no point in trying to sneak up on him, I'm just going to get rid of him with a shotgun. Still alive, huh? Not anymore. But as long as you use your shotgun, you will be fine. You just have to be careful because some try sometimes like if at mid distance they can like throw flames at you and if obviously you get too close to them you will be burned and Sebastian will take damage. So keep that in mind. But aside from that you can just take care of them as you would with any other lost enemy and like I said you can sneak kill them and in the next part that is going the to happen Yeah, they were really all pals, honestly. But you know how friendships are, sometimes they just go sour. Anyway. Let's get some upgrades done. And we do, we're doing this already, thinking of the next chapter as well, and the chapter after that. Uh, we have some parts, so might as well use them here now. So let's see. I want to increase the duration of the smoke bolts and I'm going to increase the range of the crossbow as well and I don't have enough time to or not enough time I don't have enough parts to increase the charge time and I don't have enough green gel to get the upgrade that I want so we'll just get a move on now and we're going to just solve a very simple puzzle. Before we do that, there's another key for us to pick up. Right up there. Make sure you get that. Good stuff. And now we just need to turn some uh, some valves in order to form the symbol that's on the wall uh, in front of us, not in this wall, but in the wall in front of the valves, you can see the symbol if you need some direction. Um, so it's really not that bad. And now that I think about it, I should have actually turned this second valve first, because uh, this second valve moves both the top circle and the circle on the left, so I'm actually going to have to readjust it again. So sorry about that. Uh, you, this is an extra step that honestly you shouldn't need to take. But let's rotate it because we want that part with the three forks 
pointing uh, down and now let's rotate this one just a little bit there we go and now let's finally adjust the last one just one more time and we got it and of course our reward is a river of blood you could say maybe sometimes they could replace the blood and the guts with something else like juice but they're not gonna do that And as the passage opens, my friends, that's going to be the end of this chapter. Uh, there's still a cutscene and I'm going to obviously let it play out. But after that cutscene, we will be... Or we will start chapter 10. And that chapter starts in a very fun way. But that's for later. So, as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you found this segment useful. And I will see you all later for the next part of my Evil Within 2 walkthrough. Down the rabbit hole, Alice. Sebastian Castellanos, you finally come. I've been waiting for you. Who the hell are you? My followers call me Father Theodore. I hope that you will call me that too, Fred. Another lunatic with a god complex, huh? I already killed one of you today. Of course you did. That is how you deal with every challenge in your life. Through brute force and intimidation. And look where it has led you. Into a hell of your own making. Lower your weapon. Use your mind instead of your fists for once. We have the same goal, Sebastian. We can help each other. Join me. You will be reunited with your daughter. And I will have the power of the core. I already know who has Lily. Yes. And Myra won't give her up so easily. What? Where are they? I wish that I could tell you. But you are not ready. You must be folded into my flock before I can share that knowledge. I said tell me where she is! Accept my invitation. I can lead you away from your own darkness. I can lead you to Lily. Sorry, I'm not a follower. So be it. You have so much pain, the events of the past haunt your every moment. I showed you the path here. You must learn that I am here to help. Return to me willingly. Then we can assume our natural roles. Not as adversaries, but as allies. Farewell for now. Sebastian.